Welcome, today we're going to talk about how SteamOS is a better modular computer than my iPad behind me. Before we do that, a few ways to support the channel. Number one, become a member at curtismcale.ca slash membership. Number two, take a course at curtismcale.ca slash education. Members get my weekly research notes uh, and courses. You get the course you choose for free uh, or included, and members get it all, everything. Research notes, books that I write, courses, everything. All right, let's buckle up and talk about SteamOS, Steam Deck versus iPad. I recently realized that as my kids get older, I actually have time for gaming again. It was almost exactly 10 years between the time I opened my Steam library and played anything, Bioshock 2, and uh, opened it again, which is, you know, I started with Bioshock 2 again, because that's the game I had that worked on Steam OS. I realized this after I got a Nintendo Switch. I actually have a separate channel I'm going to do some gaming stuff on that. I'll link below if you really want to follow any of that stuff. And what I've realized as I've used my uh, Steam Deck is that it's probably a better computer uh, then the iPad in many ways, as specifically as a docked computer. So let's talk about that. So you can see behind me, actually, I have Linux up with SteamOS running Firefox, just regular old Firefox with Windows I can drag around and actually do stuff in. And number one, that's already an advantage that the SteamOS has over top of iPadOS that I can just put Windows wherever I want. But the thing that really got this whole idea rolling was the audio sources. So on iPadOS, when I plugged into the monitor behind me, I just have to output audio to the monitor. That's it. That's my choice. I can't even under uh, current 16.3 betas, I can't actually even output to AirPlay because it says, no, you're already AirPlaying to a monitor, so you can't do anything else. And I'm not. Like, I can't AirPlay to the Sonos speakers behind me like I used to be able to. So there's a workaround, which I've already done a video on with a shortcut in 16.2 that works. And I'll contrast this to SteamOS, where I just open up in game mode the audio sources and choose the audio source that I want. So it can be the Arctis Pro wireless headphone that I have, or the speakers, or the monitor. <laughs> I can just choose it easily from a dropdown without any issues, unlike iPad, which has always had this issue where it tries to force you into the um, monitor or to this external audio source it thinks it's plugged into, and has had a hard time letting you choose consistently something else, like say an Air, another AirPlay device. Although it does allow me to choose my uh, AirPods Max, my AirPod devices. Another thing that SteamOS has that iPad just lacks because you can't do it is a clipboard manager. I mean, honestly, it's just, it's just great. Clipboard managers are great. I add one to macOS with Raycast. I wish I could add one to iPadOS. It just doesn't, just just not really a good way to do it. It comes out of the box with SteamOS Linux. You just have a clipboard manager right there. And there's even a few ways where SteamOS is better than macOS and iPadOS is better than macOS. The biggest one that I find annoying regularly is that if I were to put my iPad down here with my dual monitor set up and try to use uh, a monitor on my iPad, Mac would still think it had that monitor active. So it would just have this monitor that I could put stuff on without me even knowing. And I like, that's it, it's just gone. Well, both iPadOS and SteamOS know that, hey, that monitor I'm plugged into, we're not actually using it. It's not trying to get any video from me, so I just won't even use it. I won't try to use it at all. That's fine. And that's just annoying. How come macOS can't do this? Well, the other thing that annoys me is when I try to play video on YouTube at 1.5 speed on macOS, people sound like chipmunks. The audio quality is just terrible. I'm sitting in front of a Mac studio. It's got so much processing power that, like, it's just so much processing power, way more processing power than SteamOS, and uh, way more processing power than my iPad as well. Both the iPad and SteamOS support better audio. They just sound faster. They don't sound like chipmunks. It doesn't, you know, introduce a bunch of digital artifacts into the audio playback. It just works fine. How come macOS can't do that as well? How come it doesn't, you know, recognize when there's a monitor it's plugged into that it's not actually using? And how come the audio is processing is terrible in that respect when it comes to speeding up audio? Now, over on Mac Stories, Federico has often talked about the iPad as a modular computer. You can pick it up and take it with you to the desk or to your, you know, to your uh, lap on your couch. You can take it and dock it to a desk, and it's still a modular computer. And I actually don't mind, in many ways, the way that um, Stage Manager works and the window management. I can deal with that. But there's a lot of other pain points. And in that respect, I think that the Steam Deck is a better desktop work experience than the iPad is. I can run whatever I want on it. I can put the windows, you know, if you want that wherever you want. I'm not as, that's not as big a point for me, but I can choose the audio sources I want. I can install the apps that I want. I can just use it as an actual desktop. In that respect, the Steam Deck is a better modular computer for me. I can take it out to a couch 
and this is where it falls down a little bit. I can't work on it as well because it's really tiny screen, but I can use it as a gaming computer and I can come down and say, hey, I have to work and plug it in. I could buy a portable monitor and take that with me when I travel and just take the Steam Deck and the thin portable monitor and if I have to actually work, use it and just use it with a keyboard and a mouse and it would work fine. And it would be actually far superior, have far more capability than my iPad would on its own where I have to do a bunch of hacks to do any type of programming work on it. So I think that the SteamOS shows and the Steam Deck shows that it's certainly not the hardware. And it hasn't been the hardware for a long time. It's the software. It's the software choices Apple makes that limit the iPad in being this ideal modular computer that you know I have dreamed of, that lots of people have dreamed of and want. And that's disappointing. I'm not breaking up with the iPad. I like the monotasking nature of it. I like that I just focus on one item at a time or two items on a time really uh, in uh, Stage Manager. But looking at the Steam Deck and all it can do, uh, it's the paper cuts that get you on iPadOS. It's the little things like that um, audio source. I can't choose it. It's the clipboard manager I can't have. It's those little things, those paper cuts just add up to a frustrating experience often in iPadOS. That's it. If you like the video, thumbs up below. Subscribe to YouTube nonsense. Take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Become a member at curtismichael.ca slash uh, membership for members. That's it. Have a good one.